Welcome future Grizzlies. We are really excited to have you coming to our Grizzly Nation next year. You're gonna hear a lot of great information from people about getting signed up for your classes and getting a little bit more acclimated and ready to become a Grizzly. Some general info for Mission Hills High School. So as a ninth grade student, you're gonna have six classes each semester. On Tuesday mornings, our staff gets together to discuss ways on how to improve your educational experience here at Mission Hills. We also have block days, which are on Wednesdays and Thursdays. On block days, you'll have three classes each day, and each class will be two hours. On Wednesdays, we have our odd classes, meaning it's periods one, three, and five. And on Thursdays, we have our even classes, which means it's periods two, four, and six. Freshman orientation. Freshman orientation will take place in the fall so we can welcome the Mission Hills High School Class of 2025. We have an amazing link crew program made up of juniors and seniors who want to help welcome our newest Grizzlies to Mission Hills. There will be detailed information shared as we get closer to August, so stay tuned, Grizzlies. Facts you must know. To graduate from Mission Hills High School, a student needs to earn at least 230 credits during the four years of high school. In high school, five credits equals one semester of class, and an F grade equals zero credits. All grades are permanent on a Mission Hills High School transcript. Again, we're on a semester system, so Grades get posted on a transcript every December and every June. So that's the end of each semester. And finally, a minimum 2.0 GPA is required for participation and eligibility for sports and work permits, for example. So keep those grades up. Hi Grizzlies, this is Mrs. Seagal. I'll be going over the requirements you'll need to complete in order to earn your high school diploma here at Mission Hills. I will be going over each subject area. Let's get started. Students will take English all four years for a total of 40 credits, followed by three years or 30 credits of math. Please take note that this math requirement requires students to complete math through geometry. Next, students will take three years or 30 credits of social studies, beginning with world history in 10th grade, followed by U.S. history in 11th grade, and government in 12th grade. Next, we have science. Students will take three years or 30 credits of science, beginning with biology in 9th grade. Next, students will be required to take two years or 20 credits of PE. Every 9th grader will be enrolled in a general PE class. The second year of PE can be taken in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade. Moving on to world language. Students will take two years or 20 credits of a world language. We offer Spanish, French, and American Sign Language, followed by one year or 10 credits of a visual performing art class. And lastly, students will need to complete 50 credits of electives. These elective credits can come from any area of study for a grand total of 230 credits. You'll notice that next to the world language and visual performing art requirements, there is an asterisk. This asterisk indicates that there are options, other options, to meet these requirements. For example, a student can elect to take one year of a world language and one year of a career technical education class, commonly known as a CTE class, to meet the two years of a world language requirement. Another example is a student can also elect to take a CTE class in place of a visual performing art class. That being said, we encourage all of our students to discuss their course selections with their school counselor and family in order to keep their options open for post-secondary eligibility requirements. Hi, I'm going to speak to you about A through G requirements. These requirements are needed if you want to apply to a four-year college after you graduate from high school. The biggest difference between A through G requirements and high school requirements is that you have to have a C or better in all A through G classes. So if you want to apply to Cal State San Marcos, UC San Diego, um, any 
four-year college in the state of California or outside, you would have to complete these requirements with a C or better. Now, if you want to go to Palomar first, which is a community college, you wouldn't need to complete these requirements. Every year that you are at Mission Hills High School, we'll review these requirements and high school requirements and make sure you're meeting both. This is Susan Martinez Alejandre, one of the counselors at Mission Hills. Um, on our website page, um, www.missionhillshighschool.org, we, under the department, um, we do have a counseling page. In that counseling page, you can find a variety of information, um, but some of the main information on there is um, new student enrollment. So in case your student is coming from a private school or out of district school, you can find information about um, new student enrollment. You can also find our counseling newsletter. So each month, um, our school counseling department creates a newsletter with resources, parent information, um, and events, and other um, uh, student information on there um, that would be helpful for you to read and kind of know what, what's going on at school and uh, what our counseling department is doing. Um, you can also find the course catalog. The course catalog has a list of classes, all the classes that we offer at Mission Hills High School, and it provides a detailed description of what each class is. So if your student is wanting to know um, more about like what is drawing and painting, um, we'll be able to find exactly um, the description for drawing and painting. You can also find our course selections, so just information about um, your students using classes for next year. Um, you can find that information on there as well. The school counseling department is super active on social media, and so it's our way to, uh, one of the ways that we communicate um, to our families about what our, what our counseling department is doing, what events are happening, any great opportunities for your students, such as new programs, um, that are looking for students to, to attend from um, community service to internships, a scholarship information, um, any uh, school information um, that is needed to share. We, we also share it through social media. So this is just a great opportunity for parents and students um, to just be constantly informed. Um, we promise not to bombard you um, with um, information that is not important. You know, all the information that we put on there is super important uh, for our families and students, and it's just our way of, of sharing um, that information to you. We look forward to, to seeing your kiddos um, on the first day of school. Um, please remember to take a picture of them um, the morning of, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you have pictures from like preschool or maybe like kindergarten um, on their first day of school. So just a reminder, take a picture of them, you know, on their first day of high school uh, and just know that we will be taking good care of your kids. And then we look forward to, to sharing um, with them all the knowledge that we have so that they can be successful in high school. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out uh, to our counseling department. Um, and uh, we look forward to working with you as well. Hi, Future Grizzlies. My name is Mrs. O'Neill, and I'm the ASB director here on campus. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what ASB has in store for you. ASB is a group of student leaders who help plan some of our large scale events like homecoming, pep rallies, and club rush. But we also plan some smaller events like our intramurals at lunch and recognizing some of our students of the month. Here at Mission Hills, one of our main goals is to make sure that all of our students find a place for them. So to help you find a place for you here at Mission Hills, we host an event called Club Rush at the beginning of the year and after winter break. This is a great time for you to come out and learn about the different clubs we have on campus, like our community service clubs, like the Red Cross and Leo Club, our special interest clubs, like the Fashion Club, and some of our diversity clubs, like our Black Student Union and our Hispanic Latino Student Union. No matter what your interests are, you're bound to find a place for you here at Mission Hills. And if you can't find a club you like, stop by the ASB room and I can help you start one. If you want to join our ASB program or just keep up to date with the events that we have in store for you, follow us on Instagram at Mission Hills ASB. See you soon, Grizzlies. Hey, future Grizzlies. My name is DJ Zapata. I'm the athletic director here at uh, Mission Hills High School. Uh, as newcomers to campus, I want to encourage you to try something out. Don't just try out. We offer 23 varsity sports here, spread out over three seasons. 
making us the biggest club on campus. We have amazing coaches that'll teach you both the game as well as life lessons along the way. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to reach out to those coaches via email, whether it's regarding tryout dates, um, meetings on campus or anything like that. Um, all of their contact information is available on our school website. Best way to reach them is via email. You can also reach out to me directly if you have any questions. Um, my information, my contact information is also on the school website. Thanks and go Grizzlies. Hey, future Grizzlies and families. I'm Mr. Butler, your AP coordinator, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our AP program here at Mission Hills High School. AP stands for Advanced Placement, and they're essentially college courses that we offer here in high school. These are extremely academically challenging courses that are gonna challenge every student that takes them. Uh, I'm really proud of our AP program here at Mission Hills. We have an open enrollment program, which means any student that wants to challenge themselves and step up and take an AP class is able to do so. Students learn hard work and focus, as well as balancing their busy schedules. Uh, the reward, of course, for these AP classes is a weighted GPA, as well as potential college credit if you can pass the assessment at the end of your AP class. The 2022-2023 school year, Mission Hills will offer 24 AP courses. These courses span the subjects of English, foreign language, history, math, science, and VAPA. We also have the coveted AP Capstone program here at Mission Hills High School, where students can earn a special capstone diploma for completing a minimum of four AP classes in addition to AP seminar and AP research. Make it a great day, Grizzlies. In AP Human Geography, students are asked to challenge themselves by taking their first AP class. It is not a history class. It is a current event class that studies the last 30 years. Students are asked to complete projects, work independently, but more importantly, challenge their curiosity and understanding of the modern world. The purpose of the class is to earn college credit as a high school student by successfully passing an AP test and making a path towards a brighter future. Hi Grizzlies, this is Mrs. Dulan Yao, and I'm excited to tell you about Careers in Education and why you should sign up for this CTE pathway. In Careers in Ed, you'll have a chance to explore hot topics and current events in the world of education. In your year one, you'll have a chance to hear from guest speakers every week from those who hold positions around our district, whether that's school psychologist, school nurse, school social workers, assistant superintendents, and so many more. You'll also have an internship in the spring semester of your year one where we get to go to Richland Elementary and you'll be able to work with the little ones in their classroom. When you're a year two student, you'll have a chance for an internship all throughout the year, two days a week, for you to go off campus into the classrooms and daycare centers around our district to really get that hands-on experience. Don't forget the fact that we also have an articulation with Miracosta College, so you get college credit while you're in high school. Pretty cool, right? Hope to see you in Careers in Ed. Hi, my name is Lisa Felice, and I'm the Child Development 1 and Child Development 2 teacher at Mission Hills High School. Both Child Development classes offer college credit and are A through G approved college prep electives. Child Development is part of the CTE education pathway. Child Development is great for anyone who wants to learn about babies, children, and families. The Child Development Pathway is also great for anyone wanting to possibly investigate future careers as child care workers, teaching assistants, before and after school program aides, speech pathologists, social workers, teachers, child psychologists, and don't forget it's a really great class for anyone who would like to be a parent someday. Students agree that one of the best parts of the class is working with the robotic babies. Students get to take home the babies over a weekend to test their learning and to experience what it's like to care for a child. It's just one of the really fun ways we learn about child development. I hope to see you in my classroom next fall. The Criminal Justice Academy at Mission Hills High School is a two-year program that is articulated with Palomar College. What this means, it is if you graduate with a grade of B or better 
over the course of the four semesters, you will receive 11 college credits over at Palomar College. This course is designed for students who are looking to possibly pursue a career in the criminal justice field. In year one of the program, students study the overall structure of the criminal justice system, participate in pre-employment police fitness activities, they study law enforcement procedures, crime scene investigation, fingerprinting, laws of arrest, speech and interview skills, hands-on scenario training, group leadership, as well as report writing. If you are looking for a fun course, which is hands-on and allows you the opportunity to interact both in a group setting and as an individual, we hope that you'll sign up for the Criminal Justice Academy at Mission Hills. Culinary Arts and the Culinary Arts Academy is a two-year program that combines culinary theory with practical hands-on laboratory experiences in a state-of-the-art instructional kitchen. Yes, it's about cooking and eating, but it's so much more. In Culinary 1, which is open to grades 9 through 12 and is A through G approved as a G elective, uh, in Culinary 1, students will learn about safety and sanitation, basic principles of food preparation, baking, cooking, portion control, service and presentation. Students will learn with professional grade equipment, including stoves, radiant and convection ovens, broilers, grills, mixers, hand tools, utensils, and other commercial kitchen equipment. Students will learn how to cook and bake a variety of dishes and recipes throughout the year. Dishes include French fries, mac and cheese, cookies, muffins, soups, sauces, fresh pasta, fresh pizza, ramen, and many more. Hi, my name is Katie Carl. I'm the engineering teacher here at Mission Hills High School and wanted to give you some information about the CTE engineering pathway. So the pathway really involves a combination of creativity, art, uh, technical skills, math and science skills. Uh, to kind of help students learn technical skills that they use in a variety of engineering fields. There are two courses in the pathway. The first one is called Introduction to Engineering and Design. And that class students use a 3D modeling software and a 3D printer and some tools to kind of help their actual products that they design and create come to life. So some projects that might include are a miniature train, a toy or a mechanical toy, uh, interlocking puzzles, or even interlocking keychains and automata or fidget spinners. And those are just a, a few examples. Healthcare is the number one industry in the US and San Diego. Our two year healthcare program is a college level curriculum where you will earn three units of community college credit when you get a B or better in the class. In the class, students will be able to attain CPR and first aid certifications, learn medical terminology, learn anatomy and physiology using a state-of-the-art anatomage table, listen to industry guest speakers and attend field trips, learn skills to become an emergency medical responder, including wound care, splinting, medical emergencies, and patient assessment. Year two of the healthcare program is an internship course where students will spend four hours per week at a local doctor's office, dental office, or vet clinic to see what it's really like to work in the healthcare industry. If you're up for a challenge, join healthcare. Hey future Grizzlies, follow me down to the mud cave so we can learn a little bit about ceramics class. You know, ceramics is the art form that uses clay, aka mud, to construct masterpieces, including sculptures, mosaic tiles, and utilitarian objects such as cups, bowls, and plates. Ceramics is one of the oldest art mediums invented, and we are lucky to have a place to continue this tradition. I hope you enjoy getting creative when you enter the mud cave and learn to love the feeling of clay gushing through your fingers like I do. If you're an underclassman when you take Ceramics 1, you'll have the opportunity to continue by taking Ceramics 2 or AP 3D Art and Design in the years following. Everyone has the opportunity to join our mud cave club, even if you're not enrolled in the class. Welcome to Dance at Mission Hills, where we have a comprehensive dance program where students can either earn their PE or visual and performing arts credit. Our Dance 1 class is the beginning level open to all students. No previous dance experience needed. 
In this class, students will learn fundamental technique skills in various styles, as well as choreography strategies, so students will collaborate with peers to create their own dances. Dance 2 is an intermediate level for students that have already had Dance 1 or perhaps arranged to audition into this class. Greater technique skills are a focus, as well as higher level choreography. Students will also experience master classes from local college or professional guests. Dance production is our advanced level after Dance 2 or auditioning into this class. A higher level of choreography, both student created and the opportunity to learn from professional artists is the primary focus in this class. Students will have the opportunity to perform in various school events and shows, as well as the chance to perform in outside venues, creating important local connections and lasting memories. Hello, Ms. Sokolowski here, and I'm going to tell you about the digital photography program at Mission Hills High School. We have three years students can uh, sign up for a digital photo. In Digital Photo 1, students will learn the basics of using cameras and how to uh, use manual exposure. They'll also learn how to use our industry standard programs, including Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. Uh, in addition to that, they'll start to learn how to use studio lights and just overall make their pictures better using all the tools and techniques throughout the year. If you have any questions, let me know. Hi everyone! Still trying to figure out what electives to sign up for next year? Well, check out the classes the drama department has to offer. Whether you're someone who loves the spotlight and wants to perform for others, or if you'd be happier if the audience never saw your face at all, the theater department has something for everyone. If you'd like to try acting, check out our Drama 1 and Drama 2 classes. However, if you're more interested in building sets, working with lights and sound, or designing costumes, sign up for our technical theater class. No experience is necessary, and no matter what direction you decide to go, we will explore your creative outlets, have a lot of fun, and make a lot of new friends. Hope to see you next year! Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Dixon and I teach drawing and painting. In this first class, we develop skills in drawing and painting. Whether they're beginners or experienced artists, uh, they all have a lot to learn. So we do a lot of vocabulary and learning to draw from real life. I teach them things like perspective, how to draw buildings, portraits, we paint. We work with a lot of different materials teach them how to shade in black and white using regular pencil, but then we progress to color pencil. In this classroom, they're going to be creating a quality portfolio, so that means a collection of really nice work that really is going to show growth from day one to the last day of, of the school year. So they're going to be able to look back and realize how much they've improved, whether they were coming in having never drawn before or already pretty skilled artist. In this class, you really get to work with your hands. So if you're someone that really likes working with tools and constructing and building things, this would be a really fun class for you. You can actually hear your creativity come to life in the classroom with the sounds of the tools being used to create your very own art. In this class, you create beautiful pieces of work out of metal. Some of the projects are wearable like jewelry and some are small scale sculptures that can be hung on the wall or placed on the table. We use metals such as copper, brass, bronze, and a lot of different types of wire. As we build upon our skills in making, we also learn a lot about design. We explore the elements and principles of art and how they can help us create really successful designs so that our art looks really, really cool. I think one of the best things about an art class is having the opportunity to express yourself and find your own personal style. So if working with metal sounds like fun, you should join. And if you discover that you have been a metalsmith all along, we have advanced metalsmithing and AP metalsmithing. Now how cool is that? There's something for everyone in AP art history. For my artists out there, come learn from the masters and how techniques developed over time. For my history buffs, look at history through the lens of an artist and through the lens of the people of the time. For my adventurous types, you'll hear learn about different cultures, different civilizations, and probably about yourself as well. AP Art History is one of the top looked at courses for universities. You can receive VAPA credit or elective credit for taking this class. Come and join us. I think you'll enjoy it. 
Hello future Grizzlies! This is Michael Tram, one of the band directors at MHHS, and I'd like to tell you about the Mission Hills High School Band Program. No matter what your motivations are in band, we have it all covered. Starting with our Cardinal Alliance Marching Band, we work hard and play hard as a big band family. Every fall semester, beginning with band camp in August, we combine music with motion to provide a unique and rewarding musical and social experience that will be the highlight of your high school career. Our award-winning concert bands provide a more in-depth musical experience and allow you to achieve excellence on your instrument. You can learn the basics of your instrument in concert band or continue excellence on your instrument in symphonic band and wind ensemble and perform the greatest of repertoire and band history. Lastly, in our Cardinal and Gold jazz bands, we groove to the coolest jazz band charts of all time and further learn about improvisation and explore the coolest styles of jazz from swing and bebop to funk and modern styles. I look forward to seeing you in our band room next year to make great music together. Color Guard is a visual performance ensemble that performs with the marching band. Color Guard involves learning to spin flag, rifle, and saber as well as elements of dance and movement. Students in Color Guard earn PE credit and no previous experience is necessary. Welcome to Mission Hills!